In today's video let's talk about the 300-million-year-old chariot wheel found in the Russian mine. Welcome to my channel, Historical Studies. Before diving into the mysteries of history there is a small reminder, if you are really interested in this kind of information do not hesitate to, subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon if you don't want to miss out on our new videos. About the Chariot Wheel In the Ukrainian city of Donetsk, a mysterious find was made in a coal mine in 2008. The mystery object, which resembles an ancient wheel, is still present down the mine since it could not be safely or successfully removed due to the nature of the sandstone in which it was embedded. Workers were shocked to discover what looked to be the impression of a wheel above them in the sandstone roof of the tunnel that they had just excavated while drilling the coal coking stratum called J3 Sukhodolsky at a depth of 900 meters from the surface. Deputy Chief V.V. Kruzelin, fortunately, took pictures of the odd footprint and shared them with the mining foreman S. Kasatkin, who announced the news of the discovery. We are left with only the images as proof of their existence and the word of a group of Ukrainian miners because we are unable to further investigate the site and closely examine the imprint. Discovering the Wheel The Rostov region surrounding Donetsk is built upon carboniferous rock that dates from 360 to 300 million years ago, and the widely distributed coking coals have their origins in the middle to late carboniferous, suggesting a possible age of the imprint at around 300 million years old. However, the strata in which the fossilized wheel print was found cannot be dated with certainty. This would suggest that a real wheel actually became stuck millions of years ago and dissolved over time as a result of the diagenesis process, where sediments are lithified into sedimentary rocks, as is common with fossil remains. There is an extract of a letter written by S. Kasatkin that refers to his testimony about seeing the strange wheel footprint that his crew of miners found in 2008. With only this written testimony and that of the other witnesses, the photographs remain the only proof of this anomalous imprint. If the photographic evidence is indeed legitimate, then one must question how a man-made will became embedded in such ancient strata, when according to scientific orthodoxy man had not even evolved yet. Ancient Tracks As fossilized ancient tracks were discovered in France, Spain, Italy, Malta, Kazakhstan, Ukraine, and even North America, there is evidence for the existence of wheeled vehicles in antiquity in other parts of the world. A prehistoric site known formally as Misragar Ayelkber meaning the Great Cave in Maltese, is located at Sigiwi, near the Dingli Cliffs in Malta. It is at this now famous site that what have been termed cart ruts cut into the limestone have mystified all that have visited the area. Similarly, the Greek amphitheater known as the Great Theater of Syracuse on the island of Sicily has a number of strange stone tracks that can be seen. Interestingly, the majority of archaeologists have hypothesized that Sicilian people who arrived in Malta around 2000 BC at the beginning of the Bronze Age are likely responsible for the creation of the Maltese tracks SML. In Turkey, there are even more tracks to be found. Some can be observed in Cappadocia where many tracks can be seen, and at Safka, where they cover an area of about 45 by 10 miles. The many ruts discovered around the world have caused a great deal of controversy as to their purpose, age, and origin. Many researchers have come to the conclusion that the fossilized lines show signs of great antiquity due to the association and close proximity with megalithic structures, particularly in Malta as well as the fact that many tracks are now submerged beneath the sea in that region. These mysterious factors, however, remain a matter of debate. Bizarrely, considering the anomalous wheel print discovered in Ukraine that we have just discussed, a medieval city fortress in the Crimean mountains of Ukraine called Shufetkale lies in ruins, but also plays host to a number of cart ruts in stone like those at the nearby site of Eski Kerman geologist and head of the Natural Science Research Center at the International Independent University of Ecology and Politology in Moscow, Dr. Alexander Koltepin. He has spent a lot of time going to these sites and contrasting them with one another to look for similarities. This particular region which Koltepin has researched further is relatively unknown and the guidebooks offer nothing in the way of information. Koltepin offers different theories than some researchers, who believe that the tracks are just the remains of old petrified cart ruts from the type of wheeled vehicles that donkeys or camels would have drawn. 
Coltepin said both the width and length of the tracks at the Phrygian Valley site were made by vehicles with tires that were 9 inches wide and equivalent in length to modern automobiles. With the depth of the impressions of the tracks in stone exceeding that which one would associate with small carts, Coltepin maintains that the vehicles responsible must have been much heavier. He suggests that whichever civilization operated the large vehicles that left the tracks were probably in charge of the numerous, yet identical, roads, ruts, and tunnels that have spread throughout the whole Mediterranean today. Finally, it is clear that much research is needed to determine the age and origin of the numerous tracks that are being found in various geographic locations. The ancient world discovered in Ukraine is evidence that the ancients may have had access to greater technology and knowledge than we generally believe. That brings us to the end of the video. Thanks for being to the end of the video don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and tell us what you think about this video below in the comment section.